Hello students, in this video we will study about the soul gel method of preparation of the solid. In the previous uh, videos we uh, talked about ceramic method of preparation of the solid as well as the chemical vapor deposition that is CBD. Okay, uh, there are mainly four methods as I already said that is uh, ceramic method, soul gel method, precursor method and CBD. So these are the four methods for the preparation of the solid. Out of these four we studied about the ceramic method and the chemical vapor deposition. Okay, The soul gel method and precursor method is uh, uh, left and in this video we will mainly see the soul gel method. Okay. If you haven't watched the ceramic method or a chemical vapor deposition method, please do watch. Okay. So in soul gel method, first we have to understand what is soul and what is gel. Right. So here soul or gel, we know these are nothing but a colloidal particle. Right. Soul is a colloidal particle. Gel is also a colloidal particle. Colloidal particle. So now what is soul gel method means uh, we know that soul is also a collide, gel is also a collide means uh, collide means what it is a very small molecule or small particle right. So in the soul gel method we are preparing the solid okay preparing the preparing solid from the small molecule okay from the small molecule or small particles that is usually a collide that is soul okay the preparation of the solid from the smaller molecule that is why this is called as soul gel method okay so here in this uh, uh, method the first step is the preparation of the soul okay what is the first step preparation of preparation of soul okay i said soul is what soul is a colloidal particle uh, or colloidal uh, thing okay a gel is also a collide well now what is soul how can you define if you have say this is the dispersion medium which is in the liquid phase okay dispersion medium is a liquid so in soul what is the dispersed phase the dispersed medium is a liquid right so uh, dispersed phase is a solid okay soul means what it is nothing but a liquid suspension of the solid particle okay what is soul it is nothing but a liquid suspension of the solid means liquid is our dispersion medium while this is our dispersed phase well so in this method the preparation of the soul is the first step now how to prepare this soul that can be done by the hydrolyzing okay it can be done by either okay it, it is done by either hydrolysis hydro hydrolysis okay it can be done by hydrolysis or it can be done by the partial condensation condensation of what condensation of our condensation of inorganic salt i give an example later so that you will understand what are the starting materials okay so uh, so now you understand that it is done by hydrolyzing or it can be done by the partial condensation of inorganic salt or metal alkoxide okay metal alkoxide so it is done by either hydrolyze hydrolysis or partial condensation of inorganic salt or metal alkoxide okay i'll write here once again i'll write here inorganic salt or metal alkoxide so what is the first step this this is what this is your starting material okay or precursor now here what you need to do either hydrolyze or or hydrolysis or you can uh, partially condense it okay partial condensation okay hydrolysis or partial condensation so what you end up with you end up with the soul right this is the first step okay you need to either hydrolyze or partial condensation condensation of inorganic salt or metal alkoxide will give what soul 
okay once you get the soul what you need to do is you can either heat it okay you can heat it or you can keep it as such for several days that process is called as aging okay aging a g e i n g okay so what is aging uh, heating means you are just directly heating the soul so that uh, water content present in a soul get evaporated or evaporates right so from where do you get the water hydrolysis or partial condensation obviously you will be adding the water right dispersion medium will be the water liquid so whenever you heat that water or vape, um, you know liquid content vaporizes or aging means what you are keeping it as such without disturbing for several days then also dehydration will occur right so removal of the water or removal of the solvent will take place in this step okay once um, the soul is heated or um, kept as such for several days you end up with the gel okay you are end up with the gel so gel is nothing but a three dimensional network structure okay it is having a three dimensional network structure once gel is obtained from the soul what you need to do is you need to heat it very strongly okay you need to heat it very strongly that is um, what we call okay here strong heat is required that process is called as calcination okay calcination is done that means you need to heat the gel very strongly so that all the moisture content present in a gel evaporates off leaving behind the solid product okay this is what the uh, method is uh, present in the soul gel method okay first what you need to do you need to take the inorganic salt or metal alkoxide these are your reactants okay starting material okay this is a starting material you need to either hydrolyze it or partial condense condense it so that you you will end up with the soul and once the soul is obtained you need to heat it okay at some particular temperature and you can keep it as such for several days so that the moisture content will evaporate off giving the three dimensional gel structure okay once gel is obtained you need to heat it very strongly that process is called as what calcination process so that you will end up with the solid product okay this is the method now we will see the example for the solid that can be prepared by the soul gel method okay example okay the example for the solid that is prepared by the soul gel method so example is lithium niobate okay the example is what lithium lithium niobate the formula is this n uh, lithium nbo3 okay the lithium niobate okay this is the one of the best example for the solid that can be obtained by soul gel method okay so uh, where do we use this lithium niobate it is an uh, ferroelectric material okay it is an ferroelectric material it is usually used in the optical switches okay optical switches in this we will be using this particular solid and that can be prepared by the soul gel method now we will see the procedure here what you need to do is you have to take the starting material that is lithium ethoxide and niobium ethoxide okay lithium ethoxide and niobium ethoxide okay that is called, let me write the formula also the lithium ethoxide and niobium nb2 okay nb2 oet10 okay this is niobium ethoxide lithium ethoxide these are your starting material what you need to do is you need to take lithium ethoxide in one beaker okay you are taking this will be in the solid state both are in the solid state you will be uh, taking the lithium ethoxide in beaker and dissolving that in the absolute ethanol okay alcohol using alcohol that is ethanol you are dissolving it okay you need to stir 
Okay, what you need to do? In a beaker, take lithium ethoxide and uh, ethanol and stir it so that lithium ethoxide will dissolve. Okay, similarly in another beaker, you need to take this one, lithium ethoxide and uh, add alcohol. Okay, once again stir it. Okay, you will get the solution of that. Correct, here also you will get the solution of lithium ethoxide and here also niobium ethoxide solution is obtained. Correct, and once it is dissolved completely, then what you do is mix both this solution in a single beaker. Okay, so this solution is also poured to the beaker and this solution is also poured to the beaker and stir it well. Okay, so now in this what you have? You have the mixture of lithium ethoxide and niobium ethoxide. Okay, both will be present here. Correct. Well, now what you need to do is after this process, you need to add the water. Okay, once you mix it both the solution in a single beaker, what is the next step? You need to add the water. Okay, why we are adding water? Water is for what? Hydrolysis purpose or hydrolysis. Okay, hydrolysis purpose we are adding the water. Okay, let me uh, write the reaction. Suppose if you have this one ethoxide, niobium ethoxide and when you add the water, Okay, two molecules of water is required here. Okay, for hydrolyzing the niobium ethoxide. Similarly, you can write the reaction for lithium ethoxide with the water. Okay, what you get? You will get the hydroxy alkoxide of niobium. Okay, so let me write. You will get two molecules of niobium OET4OH with the two molecules of ethanol. Two molecules of ethanol okay what is this this is nothing but a hydroxy alkoxide of niobium okay hydroxy alkoxide alkoxide uh, here ethoxide okay hydroxy ethoxide of niobium okay similarly the uh, lithium ethoxide present in this beaker will react with the water to give hydroxy ethoxy lithium okay Okay, now once you get this, okay, this is our soul, okay, you also end up with, this is the one product, correct, so you also end up with the uh, lithium ethoxide hydroxide, okay, or um, it is uh, said like this, hydroxy ethoxide of lithium and hydroxy ethoxide of niobium, okay, both will be present in the beaker when you add the water, okay, both will react with the water to give the hydroxy ethoxides of uh, niobium and lithium respectively, so once that is done, we need to heat it okay this is our soul okay and you need to heat it so that it will get converted into what when you heat it it get converted into gel okay once gel is formed what we need to do we need to heat that uh, three dimensional network uh, structure is there no that is gel very strongly so that you will end up with the solid that is lithium neobit Okay, very strong heat is required here. Okay, strong heat so that all the water content get evaporated off. And also you can see here, ethanol is a present, correct? Whenever you heat strongly, that ethanol also escapes, vaporizes. And also here ethoxide part is there, no? Whenever you heat strongly, that ethoxide part will get pyrolyzed. Okay, the ethoxide or ethyl part of this uh, uh, group okay that will pyrolyze it to give carbon dioxide and water okay this is the purpose of heating strong uh, strong heat here or calcination okay what's the purpose of heating very strongly or calcination so uh, whenever you heat strongly the here ethanol uh, is a solvent we added here to dissolve our uh, uh, reactant that get uh, evaporates off and also the water water uh, that we are added for the uh, you know hydrolysis purpose that also evaporates off and ethyl part of this group okay that is ethoxide part that will get pyrolyzed to carbon dioxide and water that is and uh, finally leaving behind our uh, lithium neobate which is our required solid okay so this is the method for the preparation of the lithium neobit by using soul gel method okay if you have any doubt in this uh, uh, method soul gel method please let me know in the comment section
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग